Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Prophecy of Pendor. Now, when we left off, we had just defeated one snake cult army. And now it is time for the second one. Oh yes, I believe this is actually the second largest one. So the first one we actually defeated was the smallest, and I believe the one I saw near Sez, which is just before I started recording, I was near Sez and I was trying to find the two remaining snake cults. And one was over here, I believe, and it had, I believe, 1,050 and a lot of prisoners. So we may be heading there after we have defeated this particular band. So let's do it. If we can actually catch up with them, that would be a good idea. <laughs> and there we are. Okay, so we have serpent priestesses who are wearing snake heads. And there we go, 553 of our troops against 896 of theirs. We have had a lot of experience fighting snake cults over the years, I believe it is years, in-game at least, and we should be perfectly fine to take them on in this particular case as well. I am rather worried about the last one, due to it obviously being over 1,000 troops, and they had a rather large amount of anaconda knights, and they are going to shoot me with their javelins right now, and it will probably do quite a lot of damage, but hopefully my units will be able to sufficiently defend themselves, or perhaps not. They seem to want to completely fall over. <laughs> oh no. Okay, well, come on guys, we must do it. We must do it, oh no. Prove that you are better than these scourge. They must not be allowed to take over Pendor, although it would take a long time for them to do so, considering we have taken nearly every stronghold. Yes, and I don't believe the Noldor would allow it anyway, so <laughs> I think that's okay. Now I'm just trying to take out as many Anaconda Knights as humanly possible. And, ooh, they are being rather sneaky as well in the process. No. They are trying to strike at our weak units rather than facing me head on. And that is actually suggesting that I am a strong unit, but I do have some rather good armor on, I would surmise, so yeah. <laughs> oh no! Leslie was knocked unconscious, how dare you! We will take the fight to you even more vigorously now. Wow, they are very, very heavily armored, as you can see, by my axe actually doing not very much damage until that last hit there, so... Whoa. Have to watch out for that, just in case, and I'm just hoping that none of them have lances. If they do, then I am a sitting duck right here, and I'll probably be killed almost immediately. And speaking of being killed, I am going to run away a little bit now because our units are a little bit further back here and they're having quite some issues with the amount of Cobra Warriors that this particular army has, which is rather irritating really because the first army I don't believe actually had that many Cobra Warriors unless we defeated them so quickly that I had no idea, which is highly probable. But it seems as though we have taken out most of the Anaconda Knights at the moment. And the only things that are giving us issues are the Cobra Warriors, of course. So we can only hope that that is the case and they have no more Anaconda Knights in reserve. Because, goodness knows, they are exceedingly tough to take out. And now we will attempt to take out most of their crossbowmen. Oh no, there is another contingent of Snake Colt. Cobra Warriors coming in from the side there, as you can see, by them charging at me in a rather fearsome fashion. Oh no. Okay, well it seems okay at the moment. Yeah, jump and slash. 349 damage, wow. That is amazing. Okay, come on. Take them all down. Take them all down. I'm actually just wondering whether there are any other unique spawns that have yet to be defeated because I haven't actually taken a look at the victory progress in quite some time. Would be a pretty good idea after we have defeated this particular army, if we are going to actually defeat them, because by the looks of my kill feed at the moment, we're having quite some issues in that endeavor. So 
we may not even be able to do just that. We are receiving reinforcements now though, and it seems as though my units are taking quite the battering here. I'm not entirely sure why we lost so few against the other army, and we're losing a lot against this one. I suppose it could have been that the other army was weakened a little bit by one of our vassals, perhaps, and then the vassal escaped and left quite a few losses on the snake cult side. You never know. Could have happened. I would really appreciate it, actually, if we had vassals assisting us here. Maybe I should call them and we can take them all on. That would be really cool, actually, if we could do that. Okay, come on. Take them down. Yes, I think I might actually do that. I will ask Leslie to send out a message to our vassals in the realm. And maybe we'll get a bit of assistance from them. That would be very nice indeed for the last army. Because as I've already stated, it does have over a thousand units. And I am rather daunted by that. I can imagine it would be a rather time-consuming and quite high casualties in the process of fighting that particular force. So we may have to do that. Just to see how many forces we can actually field, which would be great. 48 kills we have so far attained, which is not great, I have to say. Considering we have taken out 201, or at least we've killed 201 of the enemy's forces. And victory is ours now. 44 renown and 10 morale is our reward. Not bad at all. We did lose 35 to death. That is not too bad, actually. I was thinking it was going to be more, but I think it was mainly due to the 96 total that I was a little bit skeptical about whether we could actually pull this off. As you can see, they still have 682, outnumbering us quite severely. But you never know. We are just getting started. Our units are spawning in here, and we do have quite a lot of maiden cavalry, as you can see. Wow, I did not realize I had that many. But it seems I did. Aha. Okay, well that's not too bad. Okay, so... It seems as though the enemy has run out of steam. Or at least they have run out of Cobra Nevermind. Okay. They have not run out of Cobra Nevermind. They have Cobra Warriors still in their party. Very unfortunate. I was hoping that we were lucky enough to have taken them all out, but... Yes, I don't think I am going to be that lucky, but I will try to distract them as much as is possible right now and hopefully be able to get our forces to charge in and assist me before I get killed completely, which would be a good idea. Aha, here we go, we are free! Let us now take out as many of these crossbowmen as possible because they may not look like they do damage, but there are a lot of them, so they may be able to take out quite a few targets if they focus fire on that particular one, of course, but yes. It seems as though I'm doing quite a good job at distracting. Come on, take them all down, take them all down. My horse isn't doing that much damage, so I should potentially try to hit them with my axe as much as I can, instead of my horse, of course. I have a lot of faith in my horse, oh my. Yes, I have more faith in my horse more than ever right now, let's go. Yes, okay, we're out of there. Not bad at all. And it seems now our units are taking a lot of damage as soon as I have retreated. How unfortunate. Okay, we have a lot of crossbowmen here as well. They have respawned, reinforced, any type of re that you can think of. Let's do it. Yeah, take that. This is what you get. I really want the snake cult to vanish once and for all and never come back into the lands ruled by Sini Magni. It would be really nice if they actually never came back. Or what you could potentially do is select an option that would disable unique spawns from actually coming back. But I suppose that is half of the difficulty evaporated right there if you do actually use that option but it would be quite nice considering it would eliminate a lot of the I don't want to say grind but it is slightly a grind at the moment as you can see we are 
winning quite convincingly, but, you know, it would be nice to have that choice, I suppose, just so if you don't have the time to actually play this much, then, you know, you could actually get quite a bit of progress done if the Unix spawns didn't respawn, of course, or you could choose which Unix spawns actually reappeared. That would be cool, too. but maybe for a later version of Pendor, who knows. Okay, we're doing fine, we are doing completely fine, and it seems as though they only have Snake Cult Armsmans left, unless I am a little bit blind? No? No, yes, I am a little bit blind. We do have a few Cobra Warrior enemies still on the battlefield. But hopefully for not much longer. And that is exactly why these Snake Cult Armsmen are actually dangerous. They carry two-handed axes, and I remember, I believe it was about 15 or 20 episodes ago, I got taken out by a Snake Cult Armsman while he was meleeing, and I was on my horse, and I was thinking, oh, this guy, he's easy to take out. And lo and behold, he actually takes me out solo, unless he had friends next to him. I cannot actually exactly remember that, but I do remember that one of those guys actually took me out. And hello tree, it is nice to meet you. You are not the smallest tree on the battlefield, but for some reason I felt the need to crash into you, nevertheless. Yes, that happened quite a lot in our early days of Pendor, if you recall. Oh my. Okay, so let us now spread out our units a little bit. Oh, we still have Kerbal Warriors, of course, but our Knights of the Ebony Gauntlet are now entering the fray, as you can see. Okay, well, now the Snake Cult is in trouble, because our Knights do not mess around, apart from when they are fighting the Noldor, of course. I'm not entirely sure why they are so ineffective, but <laughs> maybe we need to fight them with archers instead of crossbowmen. So I was thinking, one of you actually suggested in the comments, I believe it was on episode 200, that it would be a rather decent idea to potentially get a lot of Ravenstone Rangers. Now I've heard quite a lot about Ravenstone Rangers, and I think they do not really rival Noldor, but maybe in great numbers they might be able to whittle down their numbers, but of course the only unfortunate thing about sieging the Noldor castle is that you cannot do it in stages. You have one chance to take them out once and for all, and if you blow that one chance on nothing, then they are gone forever, and you have to reload your save, of course. So that is rather unfortunate, really. That is why I am hoping that I will attain official victory rather shortly, and then we will be able to concentrate our efforts fully on being able to take on the Noldor forces at Elecrae. At least that is my hope, anyway. And we have killed 17 units. It seems like a lot less, but I suppose with this axe, and the ease of use that it has is rather a wonderful thing to be able to use. Ooh, I missed that guy as well. Come on, let's take these guys down. Stop running around, Icy Need. Let's do it. Ooh, they are actually running, or they're running after our cavalry at least. Probably the latter. Yes, come on. Yeah, that was a nice swing right there, and actually took him out with my horse, the second fellow. Not bad. Okay, I think for the upcoming rounds, I may actually get onto foot for the next ones, as that is rather fun, and oh my, that guy was extremely lucky. Oh, okay. Well, if that's the way he's going to play it, yes, we'll try to be a little bit more sneaky in that fashion. Okay, so they only have 309 remaining. I believe they only have Snake Cult Armsmans. So I don't think we should be worried one little bit, maybe. Unless they have some reserve of very high-powered units. Somehow I don't think so, though. 
So we will soon see as we get over this ridge, and no, it seems as though they only have crossbowmen and a few warriors remaining. Hopefully that was the last one. Oh, no, maybe not. Okay, so we have quite a few here. And let us hopefully try to protect this fellow here. Oh, no, he is going to get taken out. Yes, he just was. Great. That was terrible control on my part, but I was hoping that they would actually run a little bit faster, our infantry, but it seems as though they were preoccupied with the few amounts of Cobra Warriors that actually charged at them. Well, that's a shame. Come on. Yes, take them out. Take them out. Oh, wow. How did I miss that? That is complete ineptitude on my part, I believe. Oh, my goodness. And that as well. Come on. Let's actually get a few kills now. And why didn't I get on foot? That's exactly what I said. And that is exactly why you can slightly realize <laughs> how bad my memory is. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Even I don't believe that. Okay. Well, we're fine. And... We will be taking out another 46 of them very, very quickly indeed. As you can see by the kill feed, it is streaming up. Absolutely amazing speed right there. And it seems as though we have won this round. There we go. Okay, yes, very minor casualties on our part, and only 120 enemies for us to vanquish. And then that should be the second Snake Cult army destroyed, and only one more to go. As you can see, the Knights of the Ebony Gorlet are doing a very good job, They're actually taking out a lot of their units, and I'm actually going to dismount, because I am so confident that we can take out all of these units that I will be running at them on foot. Let's do it. Is that all you got? Yeah, my shield is impenetrable by the looks of things. Look at that. Whoa, I have taken so many projectiles in that one shield. And it is not even showing signs of being damaged whatsoever. Look at this. Wow. Oh my. Any time before when I was using my previous shield, probably would have been destroyed already. Of course, it always helps to have a rather high shield skill, so that is something to consider. And it seems as though that is it. That was incredibly quick to take them out, but I don't think anyone was expecting any different. So there we are. Two Renown, and we get to take a lot of prisoners, but I have to be careful here because I don't have very much space, but I think it should be enough to take the most worthy units, at least. So, yes, let's take these and these. Heavy infantry, always good. And, oh wow, we actually have quite a lot of space. So, I guess I will take that, and there we go. Very nice indeed. So, let us now take Cobra Warriors prisoner and a few armsmen as well very good Ooh, you can get a cobra great helm if you want to look like one of them role-playing opportunities right there everyone yes <laughs> that's pretty cool and there we are that is the end of the second snake cult army and as such i will end this episode off here because I do get rather tired, and it would be a good idea to be completely rested for the next fight. And in the meantime, I will be speaking to Leslie and telling her to send word to the vassals. And hopefully, we will get quite a few here for the next time that we start a battle with the Snake Cult. So, I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.